I'm trying to be creative, keeping us engaged while having a little fun. I'm writing post-game recaps, sending them to the players as if the games are still happening. For instance, this past weekend, we had a three-game series scheduled, and the players got a write-up of each game, highlighting the big plays, how we performed, the outcome of each game, including a post-game interview with the player of the game. If we could have one more day together, we would certainly take an extended on-field batting practice. Everyone who's ever been in or around our program knows how much I enjoy BP. Turn the music on, hear the ping of the bats, let the ball fly. Hopefully it's a bright sunny day, but late March, early April in Ohio, that might be asking a little too much. But really, just take an opportunity to be together one more time, doing something that we all really enjoy. Looking back, it's not lost on me how fortunate we were in getting to play the games we did. We were able to play 15 games, more than most schools did. We got some experience for the younger players, and most importantly, got to send the seniors out on a high note. What I learned about this group is how important this team is to each and every one of the people associated with it. We had talent, that's for sure, but more importantly, we had character. The positive, which I'm sure most of us already knew, is simply we work with and amongst great people at Kenyon. From our student athletes and their families, to the departments across campus, to the primary department, athletics, that we are associated, the support during this chaotic time has been incredible. This has been an opportunity to spend quality time with my family during a time of year that is not normally the case. I've probably played more board games in the last week than I have in quite some time. Most importantly, the silver lining is appreciating the fact that we are together, and that's a good thing.